Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is an interesting number puzzle. It says that there are six participants who participated in a quiz and uh, it had an interesting scoring pattern. And uh, there were total of 15 questions in increasing level of difficulty. And the square of for uh, the score for answering a question was the square of the question number. Okay, so uh, for example, for question number one, you will get one point for two four points. 3 9 points, 4 16 points and so on. For 15 you would get 225 points. Now some facts are given to us that none of them scored more than 300. Fred was the top scorer. Fine, fine, fine. Charles answered 3 consecutive questions. So Charles answered 3 questions. David answered only 1 question and the rest of them answered 2 questions each. So a total of 12 questions are answered. Okay. And three questions are not answered. So we will have to find out which questions are not answered also. Now it is uh, given that Adam and David had the same total. Bob's total was equal to the point scored by Adam. Okay. So let us start with this. Adam and David had the same total. Now Adam answered two questions and David answered one question. Let us say Adam answered question number P and Q and David answered question number R. <coughs> so it means P square plus Q square is equal to R square because what is that point system? The point system is squares of these numbers. Okay. So that means that we have to have Pythagorean triplets. We will have to look for Pythagorean triplets in this. One Pythagorean triplet is of course 3, 4, 5. Another is 6, 8, 10. Then if you think of more, uh, you get 5, 12, 13 and uh, then 9, 12, 15. Maximum is still 15. So we, we can think of four Pythagorean triplets in this range. Okay. Now if you further read this, it says Bob's total was equal to the points scored by Adam while answering one of the questions. So suppose Bob answered question number S and T. So what it is saying that S square plus T square is equal to one of the values, one of the uh, scored by Adam while answering one of the questions. So let us say P. So it means S square plus T square is equal to P square. Whereas P is one of the question numbers answered by Adam. So now we know two conditions from and these are the only Pythagorean triplets possible in this range. So these two should make a Pythagorean triplet and this element should be a part of Pythagorean triplet to make this part. So if you look at the Pythagorean triplets possible, there is only one value. Okay, there is only one value which fits, which is 3, 4, 5 and 5, 12, 13. Okay, 3 square plus 4 square is 5 square and 5 square plus 12 square is 13 square. So that means these are 3, 4, 5, 12. This is 13. So his score is 169. His score is 25. 25 is scored in this question itself. And his score is 169. Okay. It is also given that Bob's total was half of Ed's total. Now Ed's total will be 50. Now how is 50 possible with square numbers? Can we say 1 square plus 7 square? 49 plus 150? Right, that is the only possibility that you will get. So Ed answered 1 and 7, his total is 50. Okay, now we are left with two people and we have to uh, find 3 and 2, 5 more questions. Charles answered 3 consecutive questions. Let us uh, just jot down the question numbers to find out which are the questions that are still to be answered, to be found out that who answered them. So we have uh, taken 1, 3, 4, 5 have been taken, 7 is done, 12 and 13 are done. So Charles answered 3 consecutive questions. 
okay so these could be 8 9 10 or 9 10 11 okay Th two possibilities 8 9 10 or 9 10 11 so let us look for these if we say 8 9 10 then total will be 64 81 and 100 the total will be 245 if we take 9 10 11 it will be 81 100 121 the total is 302 now what is given to us that the thing that is given to us is none of them scored more than 300 so this is not possible so this means charles answered 8 9 10 and his score is 245 okay now we have to find this person the remaining person is your fred okay fred answered two questions and fred was the top scorer okay top score nikalna okay so fred could not be 2 2 plus see 2 plus 15 is what 225 229 so 2 is not possible right if you take because other values are obviously less 6 and 225 let's say if you take 6 and 15 that will be 36 plus 225 that is 261 okay that is one possibility 6 with 14 that is 36 and uh, 196 that gives a smaller value so uh, uh, 9, 196 plus 36 is 232 right less than 245 and if you take 14 and 11 that will be 317 right so it is more than uh, 300 so this means all other combinations are not possible 14 is not possible with 11 14 is not possible with 6 right 11 and 6 also will give you a lower value so only possibility is 6 and 15 so he answered 6 and 15 and got the answer as uh, 261 okay okay so uh, let's just not knock off the numbers that have not been used there is a question on that okay so here's the first question what is the maximum score of any of these participants the maximum score we just calculated is 261 okay what is the difference between the scores of charles and adam charles is 245 and adam is 169 that is 76 what would be the score from the three questions not answered by any of these so not answered are 2 11 and 14 so 196 plus 4 plus 121 that gives us 321 okay who answered question number 7 question number 7 was answered by ed so this is the solution uh, to the puzzle and the answers to the questions i hope you must have enjoyed this pretty interesting puzzle and uh, uh, just comment the time that you took to solve this question on your own